Yeah, folks. Um, well, guys, also, I want to wish all of our Jewish listeners a very meaningful Yom Kippur fast. You really got into your shit for Yom Kippur this year, huh? I, I don't know. I promised my mom I'd go. I That's go good, dude. I'm happy for you. As long as you don't revert to Zionism. I, I'm I'm I'm, I thought, I'm I'm fully on board with this new Jewish, even more Jewish Adam. I'm gonna go more Jewish, more religious. Get get back into my spirituality, which I was never really into. Yeah, yeah, I was more into into you know, be, more into music. I think that'd be good for you. Yeah, maybe it'd give life some meaning. Mm-hmm. Give life a little bit of context. Maybe stop worrying just about myself. You know. Yeah. Start seeing myself as part of something bigger. Who knows? Or maybe I'll just... Maybe we could have like a rabbi on for uh, one of the, the video episodes. <laughs> we, could have, we, could, we could get that uh, that guy... Uh, what's his name? Rabbi Sh- uh, Shuli. That guy that goes on TV. I think he's a scam artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had a show, I remember, it was called Shalom in the Home. I tell you, if they had that guy around, they'd have to rabbi shoo me away from all the pussy that he'd be bringing in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he likes him. His, yeah. <laughs> he likes them. His whole crew young. of, <laughs> yeah. His whole crew of, uh, of bitches. Real yum, some yum Kippur. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. There's a lot of Jewish holidays. Now that we have to go to B&H all the time. And they're, they're closed all the they're damn time. They're constantly closed for another holiday. Well, once a week they're closed for the Sabbath. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, B&H is closed today for Yom Kippur. Yeah. It Yom- is, that is very fun. Like, they saw Christmas and they're like, what if we do it all the time? What if we had a million Christmases? <laughs> What if we had just had Christmas every week? What if we had Christmas, but it was just more boring mm-hmm. and didn't involve, uh, you know, What if I built a, a tiny house outside of my house and we eat Count Chocula in there? That's the funniest one. Yeah. Suck, suck it. Su- suck it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, uh, that one's funny. And then their Halloween is pretty funny. Every do, you year. Feel, do you feel, honestly, though, do you feel good about doing the Yom Kippur stuff? I feel like my mom would have liked that I went. Mm, do you feel like connected with her or something? No, I did not. Well, they do a prayer for if you have a dead parent, mm-hmm. they do something. That's really and nice. I stayed in. I stayed in the room. Everyone else has to leave. Mm-hmm. If you have a, a an immediate relative who's dead, you yeah. stay in and they do the thing. And I felt like that was good. I wish I could have some kind of spiritual connection. Unfortunately, all I got is my gadgets. There was this nerd. That I went to high school with. I probably said this on the old mm-hmm. podcast. But this is not a nerd besmirching podcast. I'm not going to talk shit. But he was. Cumtown may have been a nerd besmirching podcast, but the Adam Friedland show is pro nerd. There was this kid. This, Rick. Is a, this is a wire and gizmo show, and when that's not happening, yeah. guess what? It's fucking Yom Kippur, pal. Yeah, it's Sukkot. True. It's Rosh Hashanah. Uh-huh. It's, it's what's the other one? It's Passover. It's, yeah, there's another Simchat one. Torah. Simchat Torah. You know that's the one where they get drunk. You're supposed to get drunk. On Manischewitz. You get drunk on sh- shots of potato and vodka. What are some of the other Jewish holidays? Um, Shmini Atzeret. And that's Toyota Truckathon. Yeah, that's Toyota, Toyota, Toyota Truck Month. And they're losing their goddamn mind over there. Yeah. 